Have you ever wondered if evolution as we understand it could be flawed in its fundamental logic? Today, we delve into the intriguing world of the brilliant logician Kurt Goodell, who brought forth a fascinating objection to Darwinian evolution. Goodell's argument hinges on the concept of information. He stated, the formation in geological time of the human body by the laws of physics, or any other laws of similar nature, starting from a random distribution of elementary particles and the field is as unlikely as the separation of the atmosphere into its components. The complexity of the living things has to be present within the material from which they are derived or in the laws governing their formation. Godel's argument is that if evolution is unfolding from an initial state by mathematical laws of physics, it cannot generate any information not inherent from the start, and in his view, neither the primeval environment nor the laws are information rich enough. This assertion, in essence, challenges the very foundation of our understanding of evolution. What does this mean? Let's break it down. The process of evolution, as we commonly comprehend it, involves the generation of diverse life forms over time, guided by the principles of natural selection and survival of the fittest. But Goodell's argument throws a curveball into this understanding. He contends that neither the primordial environment from which life evolved, nor the laws that govern the universe, are information rich enough to account for the complexity and diversity we observe in life on Earth today. This is not a casual critique, but a profound logical objection that stirs the pot of evolutionary theory. The implications of Goodell's argument are far-reaching. It raises fundamental questions about the core tenets of Darwinian evolution and the role of information in the process. Is the information for life's complexity already present in the universe's laws? Or perhaps in the raw materials that make up the primeval environment? Or could it be that evolution, as we understand it, does not capture the full picture? So, does this mean our understanding of evolution might be incomplete or even incorrect? As we delve deeper into Godel's logical objection to Darwinian evolution, we may find ourselves on the precipice of a paradigm shift. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Stick around as we unravel this enigma in the upcoming scenes. Let's unwrap Goodell's argument further and see what we find. Kurt Goodell, a man of brilliant mind and logic, wove an argument that questioned the very essence of Darwinian evolution. He proposed a thought that challenged the widely accepted theories of how life came to be, and in doing so, he changed the way we perceive the world. Goodell's argument was simple yet profound. He proposed that the complexity we see in living creatures, the intricacy of their design and the marvel of their existence could not have sprung from mere chance. Instead, he argued, this complexity must have been present from the beginning, either within the materials that make up these creatures or in the laws that govern their formation. Yet in his view, Neither the primeval environment nor the laws are information rich enough to account for life. This idea stands in stark contrast to the Darwinian notion that life evolved gradually over time through a series of random mutations and natural selection. But Goodell's argument doesn't stop there, but goes deeper into the world of information theory, touching upon the concept of the law of conservation of information. This law, first proposed by Nobel laureate Peter Medawar, and later consolidated by William Dembski, suggests that in mathematical and computational operations, no new information can be created. Instead, new findings are always implicit in the original starting points, the laws and axioms. What does this mean? It means that no genuinely novel information can be created by physical or computational processes alone. It means that it will always take an immaterial mind to create genuinely novel information. Conservation of information, quite like Goodell's argument, directly challenges the Darwinian belief that unguided physical processes can create genuinely novel information. This brings us to the question, can new information really not be created by physical and computational processes? What does Goodell's argument mean for our understanding of evolution? This question has stirred up quite the intellectual storm. Goodell's argument challenges the traditional Darwinian view of evolution which posits that life's complexity arose from simple beginnings guided by natural selection. According to Goodell, this viewpoint is insufficient to explain the vast complexity and information richness we see in life today. Goodell's argument suggests that, 
if evolution is unfolding from an initial state by mathematical laws of physics, it cannot generate any information not inherent from the start. In his view, neither the primordial environment nor the laws governing it are information rich enough to account for the information present in today's living organisms. This implies that the complexity of life must have been present in some form from the very beginning or introduced along the way. This notion led to the consolidation of the law of conservation of information, first proposed by Nobel laureate Peter Medawar in the 1980s. This law posits that in mathematical and computational operations, no new information can be created. Instead, new findings are always implicit in the original starting points, the laws and axioms. Building on this concept, William Dembski and Robert Marx have shown mathematically that no evolutionary algorithm is superior to a blind search unless information is added from an intelligent cause. This fundamentally challenges the Darwinian view and suggests that the generation of new information in evolution requires an intelligent input. Marx and Dembski's work echoes Goodell's original sentiment. You can't derive an information-rich pattern from within the pattern itself. It supports the idea that systems can evolve, but when they appear to solve a problem, such as generating complex specified information or reaching a specific target, intelligence can be shown to be active. This brings us to an intriguing question. So, is intelligence the missing link in our understanding of evolution? Could Godel's argument be pointing us towards a new understanding of evolution? If we follow Godel's logic, we are led to question whether our current understanding of evolution is indeed complete. The idea that evolution cannot create any genuinely new information that wasn't present at the beginning challenges fundamental principles of Darwinian evolution. This leads us to ask, could there be other factors at play in the origin and diversity of life on Earth? It certainly strongly suggests that intelligence is required to explain the information in life. This perspective based on Godelian logic directly challenges the Darwinian presupposition that intelligence is not required to explain life. As we move forward, it's essential to keep Goodell's argument in mind and the significant challenge that it presents to Darwinian evolution. We must continue to challenge our understanding of the world, continually asking questions, seeking answers and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Goddell's argument invites us to explore further and challenge our understanding of evolution. After all, isn't that what science is all about?